Hello gaming peeps and YouTube, it's Neil from Game Revolution, here with another Top 10 News of the Week. And uh, at number 10, um, it's finally here, would you believe it? Battlefield 4 has finally got an update. Yes, they're fixing uh, a lot of the major problems that happened with Battlefield 4. Which has really annoyed a lot of people because um, with Battlefield Hardline coming out, uh, they feel as though they're releasing Battlefield Hardline without actually fixing Battlefield 4 that they released less than a year ago. Um, so people are really pissed about that, but they've actually gone, actually, we're releasing Battlefield Hardline, we better go and fix 4 beforehand, otherwise people will be really, really pissed. And they've actually done it, and they've fixed a lot of the major problems. Um, and hopefully uh, the game will run a lot better now. Uh, so that is a good bit of news. And at number nine, um, yeah, uh, Destiny. Um, um, I know a lot of people will critique the game, but I actually really enjoy it. Um, it's good fun, it is what it is. I know it's a development and a plan. But um, they found bugs actually on the disc, would you believe, that uh, gave clues to uh, downloadable content and other content coming. And it was leaked, and everybody was like, ah, and it was actually on the disc? Really? Bungie? What are you thinking putting it on the disc? Someone's obviously going to look through it. Um, so that was a bit of an error. And there's a lot of stuff about loot cra uh, caves. Uh, they Basically, there was a loot cave. You could get loads of rewards in there. Then Bungie fixed it. And lo and behold, Loot Cave 2.0 came out. Another one where you could get loads of rewards for very little work. Um, while, meanwhile, people are going around playing the game as it should be. People are trying to, trying to uh, take complete shortcuts. Uh, and that's number nine. And at number eight, Xbox One in the UK is finally outselling Sony PS4. By a chain of three to one actually. And this is all thanks to FIFA 15 uh, and a lot of bundles that they've recently released. Uh, really strange really considering that FIFA 15 the demo I played and you'll see on my channel the first half I was going to put the second half up but it was that diabolical although I didn't bother uh, and I was saying that the demo hopefully didn't reflect the main game and I don't think it has because it's sold in droves and droves FIFA 15 uh, and they released uh, footage of PES 15 and it looks a pale poor man's FIFA 15 to be honest but you either pairs or your FIFA so it's good news for Xbox bad news for Sony <music> number seven. Oh, they've been at it again all oh, the good old hackers are off again they brought down the COD servers and they brought down Destiny servers for a short time this week um, Granted, they weren't down for very long, but they were still down. This hacking is becoming uh, a lot lately. Um, you used to get the odd one come up in every now and then, but every week it seems some other companies being hacked. Why these bunch of hackers are targeting the games companies, I don't know. Um, considering that's probably the best bunch of people are the gamers, they should be hacking crappy television programs and crap on the TV not gamers but we'll have to see where this goes and at number six uh, another along the lines of the hacking is that um, the PSN network went down again across Europe and US this time I mean what the hell's going on Sony you're getting hacked every week um, you see Microsoft get hacked every now and then, probably once or twice, but Sony is happening every week. 
isn't someone haven't you employed someone to try and make your security a lot better because if you haven't you need to get it done and at number five we're into the top five um gta 5 have released uh, a last man standing update this week uh, really good it adds some more guns some more elements some more locations very very good but there's one question on everybody's minds where the hell are the heists <laughs> we're still waiting for the heists heist was one of the big things of gta and we're just waiting and waiting and waiting granted rockstar are updating a lot a gta 5 and no microtransactions thank you rockstar but when are we going to get the heist? I know they've had problems with it and it was bigger scale than I actually thought. But I just can't wait for it. I'm really dying for the heist to come out. Um, but hopefully they, they've, I mean they've said as late as spring. We're into spring now. Are they going to say win, winter? Uh, we're past spring, we're autumn, we're in winter coming up. Um, you know, they're, they're still saying spring and I just hope they don't mean spring 15. Because if they do... It's taking so long. Please, please bring it out, Rockstar. Just work. <laughs> Number four. Um, this is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Um, on launch, we'll have 13 maps. 13 maps, would you believe? How about that? That's really good. I, I'm stoked about having 13 maps. Usually get a few, um, seven or eight, nine maybe, 13's a lot. Um, they're obviously, because Sledgehammer are doing it, they're obviously going all guns blazing, pardon the pun, uh, with with this game. Uh, and it does look extremely good. What is with all the leaping around lately though? Destiny, soldiers leap up into the sky. Call of Duty, leaping up into the sky. Titanfall. Leaping up into the sky. Uh, it, it started with Halo, let's face it. Um, what's wrong with running on your feet and fighting like real men? Really? But it's good news for Call of Duty. We'll see downloadable content. We'll probably be big packs, like six or seven maps. So I'm looking forward to that. Roll on, Call of Duty. And the number three, we're into the top three. Um, yes, this is a, it's a random one really, but it deserved the third spot but just because it's so hilarious. Um, they're actually going to bring out a Bible game on the PlayStation. And I hear you're saying, what the hell, a Bible game? Yeah, they're just waiting for approval from Sony to go on PS3, PS4 and the Vita. Um, it, it, it's, it's a bit crazy Bible game. Um, they're trying to make the stories of the Bible and teach the Bible to people by playing an actual decently made game like David vs. Goliath, some sort of boss battle type thing. Um, it's a good idea. Whether it works, we'll have to see. Number two, 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 two. Um, yes, yeah, this is uh, that uh, Windows 10 has been announced that's coming out. Um, really, it passed me by, but it's big news, Windows 10. And you, I hear you all going, right, Windows 8, 8.1, 10, where's 9? Well, the reason they can't bring out Windows 9 is because a lot of people using their code, a lot of companies, have Windows 9. T5 or 98 so they can't use Windows 9 because it messes up all the coding so they've had to go to double digits you know a company as big as Microsoft and all these little companies that they help with coding and that didn't they foresee that for the future that they might just not just have just a Windows 95 and 98 and they may actually go on and on and on uh, clearly not but Microsoft, you should have thought about this. But it's no big deal. We're skipping a digit to number 10. I like hate personally. It's pretty much universally hated though. 
uh, by a lot of people. But I like it and I think 10 will be good. We'll just have to see and hope there aren't too many bugs. Number one. And this is, and I have to report it, even being an Xbox man, I have to report that the last Guardian on the PlayStation is still in development, tentatively. They are just motoring along with it. You know, if this starts going like this, it's going to be the longest developed game in the history of games if they keep going. You get a little footage here, a little screen there. You know, nothing major, but exciting news for Sony. Because I have to say, being an Xbox fan, I've looked at that and I'm thinking, wow, that really looks very, very good. And I would love that to be on the Xbox. But it won't be. Uh, which is a damn shame. Um, so that's number one. I hope I've kept you up to date with all the news. Um, just as a little side news. Um... Just to let you know, I'll be getting Evil Within and doing footage on that very, very shortly. And WWE 2K15, rock on! Uh, and uh, that'll be coming very soon. Look out for the news of next week. Happy gaming!